<laughs> you know, Idaho is known for its mountains. And if I asked you what is Idaho's tallest mountain, you might be able to tell me about Mount Bora and how its top is more than 12,000 feet above sea level. You might even be able to tell me there are eight other peaks in Idaho above that elevation. And many people have climbed all of them. But did you know there are 115 Idaho mountains that are taller than 11,000 feet? And only a few have scaled all of those. Hunter Funk introduces us to one member of that exclusive group, and he shared his highs and lows of reaching such heights. And of course, now what? Triple Peak. Summit of Hidden Peak. Brocky Peak. Summit of Mount Corruption. Wild Horse Canyon. Andromeda Peak. There are 115 11,000 foot mountain peaks in the Gem State. Here's the summit. Adventure seekers call them 11ers. All right. And Jason Lee. Yeah. We did it. He scaled all of them in yeah. just <laughs> three years, three months, and 15 days. What started this passion? When the <clears throat> pandemic was going on and everything, I wanted to get into the outdoors. And so started uh, hiking around uh, East Idaho here and did a Table Mountain over in Wyoming. And that was my first peak. You're good. You're on video. After that, his climbing peaked. He started big, hiking all nine of Idaho's 12,000 foot mountain peaks. But the craving for adventure kept climbing. So it was time to take on the 11ers. He says among the hardest to send. That was a little bit scary climbing down that. True grit peak. We decided not to repel. And it only pertains to the last 100, 150 feet uh, where it's pretty much vertical and the rock is crumbling out from under you. Dave, an avid hiker, keeps a running list on his website, Idaho Alpine Zone. The list consists of the people who have accomplished this feat over the last few years. Jason Lee is number 15. This wouldn't have been possible without the mountaineering pioneers that went before me. I mean, they really made my job a whole lot easier when I'm literally able to walk in their footsteps. What helped keep you, you know, driven to finish this? I did 24 years in the military, um, so goals were always a big thing there. Um, and so I needed something to keep me in that mindset. Jason Lee may be retired, but he plans to keep ascending to new heights. Now what's next? I mean, you this is a huge milestone. You've already got 12s, you got 11s. Now what? So there's uh, 362 10,000 foot peaks. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to take on that endeavor and uh, that should probably take me uh, probably 5 or 6 years. I'm I'm projecting. Get better. Let's get at her. This mountain ain't going to climb itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Jason Lee also takes other veterans out hiking. It's part of the Idaho Backcountry Veterans Group. He says it's key with helping with mental health and, of course, keeping active. 362 10,000 foot peaks. That's that's a lot. Yeah. I, I had no idea. And to like to classify them all. I noticed also that on that website, it said yep. 114. So what is there, the discrimination here? Yeah, so there's actually, this was really interesting when we were talking. He mentioned that, you know, at first it was 114, but just okay. recently um, it was resurveyed. Our mountains were resurveyed, and two of them were lowered below 11,000. Okay. And then three were upped. So it basically turned into 115. So. Is that like earthquakes? Tectonic plate yeah. shifting, that kind of Maybe stuff. Maybe the I'm rocks guessing. that they're stepping on and sliding under. <laughs> sea levels rising. Yeah, that might be it too. That's a great question. All right, thank you very much, Hunter. You're welcome.